What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here back with another specialist guide and today we are going to be taking a look at Seraph, a dedicated member to the 54 Immortals. Seraph is a character who can really take control of a game and completely turn it around in your team's favor when it comes to the objective game based mode. So let's take a look at this fearless enforcer who was so dedicated to the 54i that she even cut off her own arm. At the age of 17, Seraph or He Zen Zen was elevated to the rank of Enforcer. Pretty much she studied and worked her way up to become one of the most feared enforcers of the 54i doing whatever their will or bidding is. When she was climbing up the ranks, she proved to be an excellent and dedicated pupil, learning the traditions and honoring the lineage of the 54 Immortals. She also practiced in single-minded determination and martial arts, making her a very badass character. And she's also voiced by one of my favorite voice actors in the gaming scene, Charlotte Chung or D.Va from Overwatch. Now guys, Seraph can be a total game changer for your team if the player uses her correctly. So let's first take a look at Seraph's specialist equipment, which is the Tac Deploy. The Tac Deploy acts as a spawning beacon. So wherever you place that down is where your team is gonna spawn in. And the radius for the Tac Deploy is fairly large. So you won't necessarily spawn at the exact location, just kinda in that general vicinity. You could spawn in a different room or a different area that may be cut off from a wall. So do keep that in mind mine now the tac deploy takes one minute and 35 seconds to charge up but at the very start of each game your meter is going to be about halfway there so you'll have about 47 seconds for it to charge again right off your first initial spawn and also the tac deploy is going to last for 25 seconds which really is not that long of a time however you can have it charge up faster at one minute and six seconds if you use the specialist charge so definitely use this on your seraph loadout because you can completely control your team's spawns so what you could primarily do is place this spawning beacon down wherever you uh, find a location that's kind of hidden yet kind of close to a hard point hill a control zone or a domination flag and you can have just wave after wave after wave of players pushing the objective making it very hard for any defender to counter this I do not recommend playing Seraph in games like TDM or kill confirm because her spawning beacon really won't have that big of an effect for you or the other team so instead switch it out for maybe like like a Molotov or a concussion grenade. Seraph can also really change up the rules for search and destroy, but you have to play it really, really smart because for search, it does take a while to get and you can only use the spawning beacon once per game in search. So if you get it and then respawn and then die right after, you cannot earn the beacon again. And also you more than likely will not be able to charge up your specialist weapon in time, making Seraph completely useless for search and destroy. Now Seraph can also be a reward in clutch situations, but again, you only have one chance to do this. So it's kind of like a risk versus reward there. But to me, the risk far outweighs the reward. So. I do not like to use her, nor do I recommend using her for search and destroy. Moving on to Seraph's specialist weapon, she carries probably the highest damaging weapon in Call of Duty history with the Annihilator Pistol. It's gonna kill anybody with a single bullet. The range really doesn't matter at all, just as long as the bullets are able to make contact. The spread for the bullet is super, super tight together, and I can definitely see why it's called the Annihilator, because there is no surviving this weapon at all. Even if you're behind some walls, the pistol will still kill you in one hit. Now, if you're behind something that's thicker, the bullets won't penetrate through it, of course. Um, but for walls that are pretty thin, they are no match. The pistol is also going to last for 30 seconds, and you get a total of 6 bullets. So you really, really have to make sure every shot counts with this pistol. The Annihilator also quite literally annihilates score streaks. For example, the UAV and Counter UAV both take one shot to destroy from the pistol. The Sentry Gun also takes one bullet. And then for streaks that have to be dropped onto the map like the care package or the mantis can easily be destroyed with the care package only taking two shots and the mantis deploy ship only taking four shots. The sniper's nest also only took two shots as well but basically pretty much every streak is made out of paper compared to the annihilator except for the gunship and the thresher both pretty much are impossible to shoot out of the air. So if you're going to be using the annihilator use it very very conservatively because it takes super long 
long to get in the game. Plus, you only have a few rounds to spare. I really find Seraph a little bit hard to use. She really isn't one of my main characters to play as. But as for her attack deploy, it does make her worth using if and only if the player can use her correctly. And you have to place the attack deploy in an area where, you know, the enemy players won't destroy it. And, you know, just get the full effect of the attack deploy. But really, both her weapons, her, her specialist weapon and her equipment take a while to get. Plus, they only last for a a short duration of time so she's not one of my main characters I can get more use out of a different character for sure but maybe if you guys can master her for uh, search or another game mode then she can prove to be very very effectively so guys tell me your thoughts about Seraph down below in the comment section and if you have any thoughts or comments about Seraph any tips please let me know that as well and also drop a like if you guys did enjoy thanks for watching till next time I'll see you guys later